people are scared to go like, you know, past seven, um, or nine's easy because three groups of three, right? Um, five and seven seem doable, um, and then when you get out like 11, 13, 15, um, that seems like, God, how am I going to keep track of that? Well, what I found is that there's, um, there's kind of, there's it's safer actually. Um, the what I was just playing there was um, seven plus eight. So it's really one and two and three. Let's do up here. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven. One, two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, right? So if you're comfortable with the seven, you're surely comfortable with the eight, right? So there's, there's, uh, there's room to play in the eights. <laughs> and so um, as you develop your vocabulary as, an, as a drummer, um, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit actually more fun to play in the longer time signatures because there's that safety net of the um, familiar ground of a duple environment of a four or an eight. The alphabet for drumming is single strokes, double strokes, flams, buzzes, and accents. So pretty much everything you just saw me do was spelt with that, those elements. So I think the paradiddle rudiments that I started off talking in the beginning, paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, it has an accent, a single, and a double. That's three out of the five basic elements, like using all the vowels. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So I've, there, are, there are the standard paradiddle rudiments, which I work on a lot, but um, to take those into these odd grouping um, situations, um, we use these oddadiddles, or I do. Just that paradiddle pattern, right, left, right, right, with another note added. Right, left, right, right, left. A paradiddle tap, sometimes it's called. Then the seven note groupings. Um, we do, starts off with a double paradiddle with a tap on the end, giving us a seven. Double paradiddle normally is right, left, right, left, right, right. Add the tap on the end, right, left, right. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left. Don't get tongue-tied. So you get the seven-note pattern. So normally in a quarter note, two eighths notes will fit. With a triplet, you can fit three there, right? So it's three where two normally fit. So that ratio thing, when you call it a tuplet, T-U-P-L-E-T, -E you can use any ratio you want. Five in the space of four, seven in the space of four, whatever you know, your compositional mind wants to take you to. Um, so um, we can use these same patterns to develop that kind of skill too. Um, and that's what the next page of this is about, uh, the rhythmic modulations. Um, we go from two pulses per quarter note, you know, the, the main beat, we divide that into two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to eight. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Kind of cool stuff to use, and there's you can't use it on every dance gig, you know. <laughs> or there's a lot of gigs you would get fired off of doing this, you know. Um, but there are places you can use it in soloing and composition and other things that you might explore. Um, but I will say that. When you get, for me, one of the byproducts is, and something that I'm always working on, and again, a never ending quest, is getting my quarter note pulse stronger, you know? And so if I can feel those spaces between the quarter note and those different gradations, those different small increments, then my quarter note, just when I want to play. <laughs> that stuff gets better. Paradiddle tap thing, which is this. The five note group in played in triplets. Um, you know, I don't have to play every note. I can use that pattern. So if I play the beginning, I'll watch, I'll move my left hand to my leg. Watch what happens. So I get this, I'm still playing a five. The rests count part of that five, right? So, so here I could use that same thing. So here's that against a swing pattern. Um, or the seven, the double would be. Right? 
So um, it's it's not too scary. In fact, it's <laughs>